they seem to have three arms that connect at the top. And it reminds me of something out of Skyrim or something. These are awesome. So clearly what we have here is some sort of stinkhorn mushroom. In fact, it is the stinky squid. And it gets that name because of those little arms that connect like that. Some species, I think I've seen pictures, will have four of those arms. But these ones all seem to have three. And you can see how it gets that name. Okay, that is nasty. So that greenish drab brownie slime stuff is obviously where the odor is coming from and it is disgusting. Surely that's used to attract flies and things as pollinators. Even though mushrooms don't use pollen, they use spores to reproduce, it's still using the flies or carrion feeders to spread their spores around. You can easily identify them because of their shape and their fragrance. They begin with a, an egg-shaped structure on the ground and then these arms or stalks will shoot out of them. And there are different species of stink horn, so it depends on what species you're looking at. One thing I've noticed is pretty much all of them seem to have that brownish green slime stuff and that's where the fragrance is coming from. Another thing a lot of them share in common is that orangey pink coloration on the stalk. Really neat looking. So that mass of spores that attracts the flies and things is called the gleba. Interesting name. I just as soon call it the slime. <laughs> so I really love mushrooms and fungi. And the stink horns are really incredible. Next time you're walking through a woodlands or forest and you smell a dead animal nearby, why don't you stop and look around? Maybe it's not an animal after all. It could be some sort of stink horn. And they're really cool looking. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you're intrigued like I was. And, well, once again, thanks a lot for watching. I am Chris Ignato, signing out. Uh, quite possibly the stinky squid. Of course, they resemble the squid, but I just as soon claim that they resemble that of a kraken monster. Um, perhaps not as large. They are still rather undesirable and pungent nonetheless.